Welcome back. All right, so with the overlap of the way the games are scheduled today, I'm going to be missing some hockey to do this part of the review, but my other choice is not to do any reviews until about 10 o'clock tonight. Nah, that doesn't work for me. So anyways, uh, we're going to talk about Tampa Bay and Pittsburgh, and this game, it felt like a playoff game. Uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins playing some desperate hockey. They've been playing desperate hockey for a while. This is why where people see a fight, nobody wants a playoff spot. I'm sorry, the Islanders and the Penguins have been playing well lately. So it's Vasilevsky versus Nedeljkovic. Good early back and forth. Latang fans on one. The bolt's clear. Uh, pressure by the Penguins at two and a half minutes. Good pace. Very few whistles early in this one. Uh, not very many shots either. And then at four minutes and 20 seconds, Crosby scores from Rust and Carlson. He buries it from the side of the net on a rush. That is the 40th goal of this season for Crosby. The third time in his career he's reached the 40 goal mark. Penguins look to add another. The shots are 4 nothing in their favor. Five and a half minutes in. More pressure by the Penguins at seven and a half minutes. The Bolts get some zone time they can't get to the net. Now, one thing to keep in mind with Tampa, this has been a rough road trip for them. Not saying that's necessarily an excuse, but it took them a while to get going today. Um, so the shots are six nothing at the half in favor of Pittsburgh. The Penguins draw a power play. Bunting's tonight on a one-timer. Vasilevsky holds there. Bolts clear it out late. They kill it off, just the one shot on net. Bolts then do get, uh, or the Bolts, um, end up getting another shot after that. Uh, Bemstrom has a fast break chance that saved the Bolts press with six and a half minutes left. St. Ivan is denied as the Penguins get some pressure. AC Mon has a wraparound chance that saved. The Bolts play was improving as the period went along, especially in that second half. Uh, Crosby's then denied twice. Kucherov fires one high on a rush. Pretty fast period of hockey, and I thought Tampa Bay was probably pretty happy it was only 1-0. Uh, it could have been a lot worse. Of the 14 shots Pittsburgh had, it felt like maybe half of them were were pretty good shots. Uh, so second period, early press by the Penguins, a near miss for Crosby. There's a power play for Pittsburgh. They cycle. Carlson fires one wide. More cycling by the Penguins, but it is cleared out. Uh, that power play's killed off. There were no shots on net for Pittsburgh on their power play. Pugliarvi then has a shot that's kicked aside. The Penguins press at five minutes. Tampa Bay blocks. Uh, Asimon has a rush chance that saved the rebounds cleared, but then a point shot is tipped in at six minutes and six seconds to give Pittsburgh a two nothing lead. It's Malkin from Carlson and Bunting. Uh, Penguins press for another. Crosby hits a post. A lot of posts today for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, shots are five to two for the Penguins at eight and a half minutes. The Bolts have a three on two that misfires. Then there's a shoulder save on Eric Carlson at the other end. Kucherov has a net feed that nearly deflects in. We get a power play for Tampa Bay. Stamkos has a one-timer that's held. There's a shorthanded rush chance for Rust. Uh, good forechecking by the Penguins' penalty kill. It looked like they might kill it off. And then at 12.15, on his next opportunity from his spot, Stamkos scores the power play marker. Hedman and Kucherov with the assists. It is now 2-1 for Pittsburgh. Things get pushy then on hold by Nedeljkovic. Or no, um, Glenn Denning couldn't bury one as the Bolts are then looking to tie it. And then Latang has one that goes through Vassy. Uh, it trickles into the net at 14.39. Then things get pushed in a hole by Nedeljkovic. There's the note. I caught up. And then at 16.57, Malkin scores. He buries a rebound from the doorstep, bunting with the assist. It's suddenly 4-1 to in favor of the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, 2.29 left. Tampa Bay gets a power play. Kucherov has a shot that deflects out. Stamkos uh, has a shot that's held. There's some pushing after that. Uh, Kucherov has a chance that saved. They cycle. The Penguins block. They clear. Post and out for Stamkos. So the post got to work out tonight, well, this afternoon, uh, and that is killed off. But it's it's 4-1 to one for Pittsburgh after two. Third period, 25 seconds in. Nick Paul starts things up for Tampa Bay. He hits one from the far, far side of the net from the left circle. AC Mont and Chafee with the assists there. Bolts press for another. Kucherov has a shot that's kicked aside. Rebounds cleared. Tampa Bay presses at three and a half minutes. The shots are six to one for Tampa at four and a half minutes. Uh, Hagel to Stamkos gets picked off, and then the scary incident takes place. Referee Steve Kazari uh, collides with Hayden Flurry. Um, Hayden Flurry would skate off under his own power, but he exited the game. He did not return. Uh, Kazari was down for a while. They ended up needing a stretcher to get the referee off the ice. Uh, he was responsive. He was moving his hands. Uh, I, I think there was probably an abundance of caution because he did fall unconscious briefly, very briefly. Um, in, in my experience, that means you have to go to the hospital. Your, your odds of having a concussion are extremely high in that situation. Uh, so hopefully Steve Kazari is okay. Uh, they would play the rest of the game 
with one referee and two linesmen. I didn't notice a huge difference in terms of hooking and grabbing. There can be. There have been games this year where you end up with one official due to an injury, and uh, suddenly players think they can get away with more. Uh, but yeah, Flurry didn't return, and for Kazari, hopefully he's okay. We'll probably get an update on that later. <clears throat> so then, what I wondered too was, with the amount of time that was taken out for this, obviously, you know, you have to be as careful as possible. Would it hurt Tampa Bay's momentum? The answer is no. Uh, at 7.23, Duclair uh, fires a wrister from the slot. Kucherov and Hedman with the assists. Uh, Malkin then hit a post on an open net, and he did one of these after. So, hey, we've all been there. Uh, Bolts draw a power play. They score on it. It is Stamkos. It's a one-timer. It's a good cycle. And again, from his spot, uh, Hedman and Kucherov with the assists at 10.45. This is where Mike Sullivan calls a timeout. Well thought out timeout there. Uh, Bolts press for the lead with eight minutes left. There's a post for Riley Smith from the doorstep. Uh, the puck luck had gone away for the Penguins. Uh, Raquel couldn't bury one. He had a really obvious opportunity, but then Bunting does. Uh, he has a backhand right from the doorstep. Uh, Malkin and Carlson with the assist at 14.32. So basically, Tampa Bay was just giving them way too many prime chances. Eventually, one of those was going to go in. Uh, Mott nearly answers as the Bolts press. Paul fires one wide on a rush. The goalie pull happens with 2.20 left. Uh, icing by Pittsburgh with 144 left. Hedman broke his stick, but he still raced back minus his hockey stick and won the race for the icing, which Penguins fans did not agree with at all. Uh, then with 136 left, there's a delay game call on the Penguins, so it becomes a six on four. Extra drama. Stamkos fans on one. The Penguins, I thought, did a good job of blocking shots. First period, all the shot blocks were Tampa Bay's, but yeah, late in the game, Pittsburgh doing their best to block. Uh, and keep them to the outside. With 6.2 seconds left, the Bolts call a timeout, but the Penguins hang on. Pittsburgh goes to 36, 30, and 11. They catch up with the Philadelphia Flyers for that final playoff spot in the East. The Flyers, of course, are going to be playing Columbus later. Tampa Bay loses out on an opportunity to make up some ground on Toronto. Toronto's playing Montreal later. Uh, the Tampa Bay record now is 43, 27, and 7. The shots on net, 14 to 6 Pittsburgh in the first. 16 to 10 Tampa in the second, 15 to 4 Tampa in the third. Final shots are actually 37 to 28 for the Bolts. Power plays Tampa Bay 2 for 4, Pittsburgh 0 for 2. Special teams have been an issue for Pittsburgh, especially that power play. Uh, hits 25 to 24 for Tampa. Vasilevsky 23 saves on 28 shots. At the other end, Nadelkovic 33 saves on 37 shots, and he gets the win. So Pittsburgh's playoff hopes are helped just a little bit with this result. Tampa Bay, of course, clinched a playoff spot last night. Uh, they're, they're not really in any danger of moving down. They are more interested in moving up. They do have a game with Toronto. I think it's this week, too. They have that game with Toronto. Uh, but for Tampa Bay, uh, the comeback worked until it didn't. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. I think it really comes down to Pittsburgh had to win this game, and Tampa Bay didn't have to win this game. And sometimes that can be the difference at this time of year. So that's why when they talk about strength of schedule, you have to take that into consideration. Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you guys so much for watching for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.